Hi everyone. So today I would like to show you a specific video based on a more a concept or a principle of how to use a 3D printer in your hobbyist's life, like Jorama Maker or Miniature Painter. So I had by chance the new Sonic Mini 8KS uh, from Frozen recently. Um, so this is actually in uh, order phase of this new printer. So this is a entry price printer with a small build volume that I think are really directed to hobbyists. That means people will not print every day, just print for a specific project, sometimes printing miniatures, sometimes pretty diorama or objects, all these kind of things. So if you would like to look at the specification and a technical review, I will put some link of very nice other reviews that uh, reviewers have done recently on a technical side of this printer. You will see that it is performing pretty well and uh, the anti-aliasing is working nice. The printer is pretty good quality in terms of build. So you can check this out and look for more technical specification. Today I would like to show you how to use this kind of tool, uh, 3D printing, uh, for your miniatures or diorama uh, in progress. So, the idea was to use uh, uh, an artist uh, picture, um, uh, is Mr. Houdas, uh, that does really nice illustration, like sometimes really fun stuff, uh, based on landscape or, or pop culture stuff. So here is one of the pictures that I choose. So I've decided to turn this illustration in 2D into 3D. So for that, I use a software, a very nice software called Gaia from Quantum. Um, this is a procedural terrain software. So basically it creates by building bricks one to another, it creates a landscape uh, where you can add erosion, you can add uh, textures, you can add sandy, rocky texture. Um, you can build your own landsca landscape by modifying this procedural terrain. So this is what I did um, by finding a, a, a similar landscape uh, aspect that in the illustration and positioning this landscape correctly into uh, uh, my own scenery. So from Gaia, you get this shape of procedural terrain that you can export as an object, uh, OBG uh, file. So with this file, I come to the second step that I take this file and import it into a 3D software called uh, Nomad Sculpt on iPad. So this software is very nice because it's pretty user-friendly and allow people like myself who does not have uh, any um, training in Blender or Maya or this kind of things, you can get pretty easily to something uh, nice by yourself. So in Nomad Sculpt, I create the frame of my uh, diorama uh, in a kind of a cube. Uh, and I add all the details about this chain and all the tiny details that you can see in the illustration. And finally, I got a model, a 3D model, um, and I can export it as STL model. So STL model are the uh, file that you can use for preparing uh, printing. So this STL file, uh, I used Litchi to prepare the file. Um, Hello, the model to use less resin and to have less forces during the printing and I support it using Litchi. Um, now Litchi support the new Sonic Mini 8KS printer. That was not the case in the beginning when I tried it first for the first time my printer but now it's flawless and I mean you can just like uh, support prepare the file and then um, slice the file for the new printer. The new printer uses a specific format, PLZ uh, format, instead of CTB before. So that, therefore all the software has to modify their pipeline. So Litchi did it already. I think C2Box has a, already a better version for that. So overall, uh, after supporting and preparing my STLs file into Litchi, um, I slice it and I put that into USB key into the printer. Everything went fine. Honestly, the anti-aliasing is really nice on this Sonic Mini 8KS. Uh, Everything was smooth, um, it printed around like four hours um, and at the end I got this wonderful uh, 3D uh, version of the illustration. So I was really already proud of myself doing that um, and this is really a nice feeling when you can transform something and create something yourself and finally printing uh, the, the, the thing that you have created yourself and having it in hand. 
And overall, at the end, I um, filled the hole, prepared uh, just a bit uh, because I had some holes to fill into the model, and then I um, base coat and paint it. And finally, the last step, because I like it, was to do some of epoxy resin to uh, simulate the water. So I used a two component epoxy resin on it uh, and finalizing the paint. And this is finally what I got. So I will paste some nice high resolution picture on, on, at the end of the video, but this is basically all I got. Uh, so you see the shape and the size comparing to my uh, hand. So this is really cool because it was an illustration and then you can create something yourself without huge skills, uh, because I don't have huge skills in 3D, uh, but you can do it by yourself and you can print it. Um, I did it already before with another um, uh, project uh, for Argonaut uh, project from Lord of the Rings. So I did almost the same similar workflow on that. So. Definitely to do this kind of tiny dioramas, the tool of 3D printing is nice and especially this new Sonic Mini SKS printer uh, with very low price and a pretty good quality to be really, really totally honest. I was, I'm always surprised about what you can get out of um, uh, entry price printer. Finally, you can do dioramas, but if you need any kind of plants, any kind of tiny object that you can also download on the internet or Patreon and Kickstarters, and you can print it yourself for your own diorama. This is actually what I do uh, or recently on a base uh, for Scoot Trooper, where I print the plant, the, the, the water lily, uh, the, the fern and everything. I mean, this is a good tool. This is a good tool and very satisfa satisfactory when you can build your own diorama with the files that you have created or download from the um, uh, internet and print it yourself. So for diorama maker and hobbyist, definitely a good choice. I will soon do many more um, tiny diorama because I love doing that. And the next one will be potentially Lord of, a lot of the ring again, or maybe Dune with a sandworm. So stay tuned. I will let you know when uh, something will progress on the Instagram. So please follow us if you would like to have more insight on uh, this kind of diorama making with 3D printing. So I wish you an excellent day and I see you soon. Bye bye.